Hello and welcome to Toddles Point. In this video, we are going to understand the COUNTF function in Excel. So here we have this example data set of name and sales. And our question is, we have to find out how many team members met or exceeded a sales target of $50,000. So here we are going to use the COUNTF function. So here in this cell, I'll write the formula equals count if and then open parenthesis now we have to select the range in our case the range is going to be the sales column so i'll select this entire column and after the range i'm going to write a comma and then we have the criteria for the criteria i'll write a quote and we are looking for a greater than fifty thousand dollars so i'll just close the quotes and close parenthesis and hit enter and the answer is four which means we have four team members who have met or exceeded a sales target of fifty thousand dollars and here we can clearly see it from the data set the first person is this as uh, they have met the sales target then we have this one then we have this one and this one so exactly we have four persons as is the answer now let's look at another example here so here i'll click on sheet 2 and inside sheet 2 we have this another example and we have student and their submission status so let's say oh, these students had to submit their assignments and we are looking for the number of students who submitted their assignments late so as you can see this is the student name and this is the status on time late late on time on time and late so we are looking for students who have submitted their assignments late in this case we can use the count if formula so here in this cell i'll write equals count f open parenthesis and then the range now for the range we are looking for this submission status column and then comma and uh, for the criteria we are uh, looking for late so i'll just close the parenthesis and hit enter and we have three students who have submitted their assignments late and it is pretty much clear here that these three students are these three right so this is another use case of count if function now let's quickly jump to another example for our practice so here click on sheet 3 and we have uh, this another data set so we have items and we have the stock sit, uh, stock status some items are in stock and some items are out of stock now we want to uh, check how many items how many number of items are out of stock it's very simple we'll use the count if formula here in this cell i'll write equals count if and then open parenthesis and then for the range we are going to select this stock status and then a comma and for the criteria we are looking for out of stock so i'll write in quotes out of stock and then i'll close the quotes and then the parenthesis and hit enter so we have four items that are out of stock which is clearly visible here one two three and four so let's now uh, quickly jump to the next example so click here on sheet 4 and here we have another example we have employee and leave date and uh, we are basically looking for how many people applied for leave on 15th of june 2025 all right uh, so uh, here we can again use the count if function i'll write equals count if open parenthesis and then range we are looking for the leave dates so i'll just select the entire column and then comma and then for the criteria we are looking for 15 june so i'll write here in the quotes uh, 15 june 2025 and then i'll just close the quotes and the parenthesis and hit enter and we have three people who have applied for leave on 15th of june as it is clearly visible here this is the first person this is the second person and this is the third person so that will be enough for this video now you can download this practice sheet from the link in the description below make sure to like this video share it with your friends and i will see you in the next one